Okay, so the business card dealio happened. Uh, we'd like to give shouts out to Drake, Crispy, Acronix, uh, our homeboy Web Monkey, and of course, a uh, big big shout out to Master uh, Saji. Master Saji, who actually was the only one who uh, followed any of the directions at all and made a business card that was print ready using printer, so. adobe illustrator cs4 uh which made it a lot easier on us to um to print to print anyway, our on, own on, a, on a completely unrelated note we we actually made our own print ready business cards and we sent them out to a whole bunch of people and we actually got our first daveandrick.com business that right, which actually we thought would be a great opportunity to use you to use, use you or to help you grow as a designer and do another project with us um, using Adobe CS4, of course. Uh, now available wherever finer software is peddled. Okay, so let's say your first client isn't actually willing to pay you per se, but they are willing to do a trade on their merchandise for your considerable web talents or design talents. Well, actually both, really. So um, it is merchandise that you really do need right now. So it's it's a win-win. Yeah, so let's say that you're interested in working for that company that's willing to trade you for your services. Um, and so you're going to make a web page for them because that's what you agreed to, uh, to allow yourself to get up to a certain amount of merchandise that you would be able to utilize for a certain period of time, and then your account would your well, the details of the account are really important. Uh, what's it's all the, hypothetical? To, oh, totally, because this isn't like it's some sort of operation or arrangement that's already been made up that you're participating in. This is something that would just be hypothetical that you might actually go out and score yourself. We just want to give you the details so that it feels real to you. So let's make a web page, and let's use Adobe CS4, and let's use the tool that apparently, the only tool that any of you really know how to use, and that's Photoshop, because it's the easiest to, to pull down off of BitTorrent. So, uh, can you make a web page in only Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop CS4? I don't think so, can you? Yes, you can! Really? <laughs> We're gonna show you how, uh, because we know how you how you adapt so well to the programmer types, you know the you know the dudes that we're talking about, Nerds. Uh, <coughs> locked uh, down in the basement, uh, wearing the catheters uh, with their you know the their war games movies or whatever it is those guys do down there. We wouldn't know. Yeah, I know, not even close. So let's uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, open up Photoshop, and uh, what we're going to do is you you need to be uh, moving as fast as you can on this thing because let's say. This website has to be done by next Friday for you to score the deal. Let's just say. So you got to move kind of quick. Uh, what we're going to do is um, we're going to open up the image. So you've create. Let's say you've created a layout. Uh, I just happen to have this random image um, here. This is an album cover that I happen to have on my machine. And uh, let's uh, let's basically pretend that this is your website layout. What we're going to do is uh, hit Command R to get your rulers up. You're just going to start dropping uh, the guides down to, like, so we've got, like, a header thing here. And we've got, uh, let's say we've got a sidebar and a, and a footer bar. And a, it's okay that this is just a C-clamp website because we need to get this thing done as quickly as possible. Right. So, so, so this website is going to be perfectly utilitarian. You're going you're gonna to chop up this Photoshop image. Now... Uh, the next thing you need to do is go grab this this uh, tool called the Slice Tool, and it's right here under the Crop Tool. And what you're going to do is you're going to start dragging, uh, marquee dragging the areas that are going to become their own separate images. So you just click and drag, and try and follow along those guides. Boom, and what it's, our header. it's creating a slice uh, there, and then just do the same thing as you go down. Uh, grab your sidebar, and uh, then you know your your footer. And that's enough. Now, once you've got uh, a couple of your slices set up, go grab the slice select tool and double click the slices. And this is where uh, all of the information for these images are gonna be, be output separately. So let's call this one header. Let's call this one cider. And call this one foot bar. That's consistent. Yeah. Okay. All right, now what, now what do you do? What do, you, what do, you, do you have to go open up Dreamweaver and make a website and bring program a JavaScript? Know. I, I don't know, Rick. It sounds complicated. It's real. It's not. <laughs> it's pretty easy. All you have to do is go to File, 
save for web and devices, and you're going to get presented with a preview screen here with your uh, your website layout. Now, if you go through, you can click on um, and sort of preview the different slices that you set up. And then all you have to do is uh, let's let's make these JPEGs and uh, click OK. And now what we want to do on, under Format is save HTML and images, and uh, we'll save this out to the desktop um, to a new folder. Web site. That makes sense. Uh, click save and I, th Dave. Yeah. What, I think I found a website. Wait, there's a folder on your desktop. It, is that it has possible? An HTML document in it. When you open it up Look, in Firefox, it's a website. So all these are all cut up as uh, separate images. And now, if you don't believe me, if you don't trust me, uh, let's open this up in Dreamweaver uh, for all you nerds out there. And, also uh, available in, in Adobe CS4. Um, and we'll go to website, open up our page, and uh, look what we got here. We got a full-blown website design. We go in here and, uh, you know, start bleep, bleep, downloading, bleep, 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 uploading, see, see all of our latest and inventory porn here. Porn and porn and all whatever you do on the web. This is a website. Pretty much. So if you've got a hankering, um... To do all of that stuff, well, first thing you need to do is get Dreamweaver, right? Um, which is a little bit dif difficult to download from BitTorrent, I think. So, but well, because you want to, because what you end up doing is downloading Dreamweaver, the song. Uh, it just I, I've tried it. Um, you know, man, thank you for man. That was Gary Wright, I think. Um, uh, so there's your homework. So um, you just got to make sure that whatever you do for us um, or do for <laughs> for the for, for the your for the challenge practice um, is um, going to provide enough value to the hypothetical client who just is hypothetically a music store. Sure. Uh, so it, going on that that whole theme of a music store, let's say that you need to provide enough value that you can actually give this website to them, and then they will give you something in return. Say a guitar that you have in Hawk, and maybe an amplifier as well, maybe a PA system, because you really need... By next Friday. Yeah, that sounds... Get on, get on it. So Stop. Why are you still watching this video? There you go. And again, uh, make sure that it's fully ready to upload in as few steps <sighs> we're, we're as possible. You suck so at that subtlety. 